to all those Valentine's Day candies you may have enjoyed, especially the red ones. Some of them could have been made with a food coloring called red dye number three. While the dye adds vibrant color, Mike Bush with Consumer Reports explains potentially harmful health hazards. Mommy, could I have a snack, please? Elena Ramsden tries to give her children foods free from additives and artificial food dyes. I'm concerned about the long-term effects uh, neurologically and developmentally, so I just try to avoid them if I can. When it comes to food, appearances can be deceiving, especially when it comes to coloring and flavoring. Red number three dye, also known as erythrocin, is a synthetic dye derived from petroleum, and it's used in food and drinks to give them a kind of bright cherry red color. Decades ago, the Food and Drug Administration banned red dye number three from all cosmetics after studies show it caused cancer in lab animals. Yet the dye is still lurking in thousands of varieties of candies, gummies, cakes, beverages, even medicines. So how is it possible that this coloring is banned in makeup, but not from the candy that many of our children could be eating? That's why last October, Consumer Reports, along with more than 20 other advocacy groups, signed a petition from the Center for Science and the Public Interest to ask the FDA to prohibit the use of red dye number three in foods, dietary supplements, and ingested drugs. Besides the potential cancer risk, some studies show concerns that artificial food dyes, including red dye number three, contribute to children's neurobehavioral problems such as hyperactivity. The International Association of Color Manufacturers, an industry trade group, tells Consumer Reports that there's not enough evidence associating the dye with behavioral problems and maintains it is safe at the levels most people consume. To limit artificial colors, Elena likes to read the ingredients carefully. So we read the labels and make sure that everything is as natural as can be. The FDA requires manufacturers to list red dye number three on the label. Food safety experts are also concerned about other artificial dyes. Studies of kids' exposure to red number 40, yellow number 5, and yellow number 6 have shown similar neurobehavioral effects in kids.